Samson, the upcoming biblical epic from Pure Flix, coming out February 16th. And as the title suggests, it's about the Old Testament character of Samson. It stars Tyler James as Samson, plus Billy Zane is in it, surprisingly enough, and Jackson Rothbone, who is best known as, you know, that that guy in Twilight, remember? So I got to see the movie and I wanted to tell you about it. So here we go. So Samson pretty closely follows the story of Samson laid out in the Bible. A baby is born, his parents make a covenant with God that they won't cut his hair, he won't drink any wine, and he won't touch dead stuff. And because of this, God allows him to be super strong. Though he has a few hangups, like having an eye for pretty women and a tendency to, you know, murder a bunch of people. And these hangups actually end up being his downfall as he's pushed to breaking his covenant with God in all three cases. And I won't spoil the rest of it for those of you who haven't read the book. Now, I will say that this movie did actually stick to the biblical telling of the story of Samson really well. If I'm being honest, it has been a little while since I myself have read the story of Samson. So while I was watching it, there were a few things where I was like, did that really happen? That's a weird detail that they put in there. So whenever I got home, I went ahead and read the story and I was actually pretty surprised that a lot of those details that were in the movie were actually in the story. Though there were a few other moments that were in the Bible that the movie kind of edited out. Moments that would have probably made the movie a little more, well, less family friendly. Maybe even pushing it to an R rating, which is interesting. It's just the thought of like, oh, we got to edit the Bible to make sure that it's appropriate for all audiences. I understand the tendency to have to do that, but unfortunately the ramifications of that weren't just that they made the movie cleaner. They actually made Samson seem like a much better guy in the movie than the Bible makes him seem. In the movie, Samson seems like someone to look up to. And in the Bible, he doesn't seem like someone that you should look up to at all. Now, there were also some other things that were changed from the Bible story that I think were really Really helpful for the movie. So like in the Bible, there's a lot of points where Samson has conflict with the Philistines. So what they did in the movie is they actually gave a face to that. They have a character in the movie that Samson is continuously having trouble with. And that individual character kind of represents the Philistines. It personifies the Philistines in a way that I think really worked for the medium of film. Obviously, of course, it's not historically accurate. It's a little weird that Samson doesn't, he doesn't look quite Jewish but I understand that this is in the vein of classic biblical epic films. And so you're gonna have people with British accents and the acting is fine. It's a little stilted, but it's fine, it works. On the other hand, even though this is a story straight out of the Bible, it does follow kind of a cliche storyline, very similar to the film Gladiator. And because it's so similar, I can't help but draw some comparisons. In the movie Gladiator, at the beginning, there's something very significant that happens to him. And the movie makes that clear, this is a significant moment, this is what's gonna motivate him throughout the rest of the film. You feel bad for him and you want him to be the champion for the people. Very similar thing happens to Samson, but yet when it happens, it's almost like the movie didn't realize that this was an important moment. It just kind of skipped through it like, Oh yeah, that happened. Hey, guess what? This is the thing that's gonna motivate Samson throughout the whole movie. Don't worry about it. I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. The movie's also really like goofy when it's supposed to be serious. They have Samson kind of doing almost this Aladdin type scene at the beginning where him and this friend are running through a city and they're being chased by the guards. That's a little weird to see Samson doing these practical jokes. And then he's also like a flirt, you know, he's like a jock. Hey ladies, how's it going? I'm Samson. But the way the Bible portrays him, his problem is not not just that he's flirtatious. Like this dude has a problem. This guy has an addiction to women. He needs an intervention. The low budget of this movie was super glaringly obvious throughout the entire film. And part of this may just be that whenever I saw the trailer and the way it's kind of presented, it's like, this is this biblical epic. It's gonna be one of the biggest movies of the year. And then watching it, I'm like, this, this doesn't quite cut it. Whether it's the emotion and script writing, camera work, framing, editing, special effects, choreography, I'm saying to myself, okay, I get the idea of what they're trying to do here. Like I've seen this done in other movies, but they're not quite pulling it off. And it's hard for me to watch a movie that's constantly asking me to forgive it for being a low budget film. For a movie whose tagline is finish strong, it feels like most parts of the filmmaking process were just done halfway. So in the end, if this movie was like part of a VBS or a Sunday school curriculum, then I would have been blown away. What an amazing accomplishment. But the fact that this is being marketed as this big blockbuster for this year, when held up to that standard, it just falls short. I mean, I saw the trailer for this movie in front of Star Wars. Obviously they put a lot towards the marketing, maybe half that and put it towards 
the script. So if you're looking for something to go see with the whole family that you can use as a discussion piece to talk about the real story of Samson, this might be something that you want to check out. But if you're a fan of Gladiator or Troy or other swords and sandals type movies and you're thinking this is going to be that type of movie, well, you're going to be pretty disappointed. All right, that's all I have to say for today. Thanks for joining me for my very first movie review right here on Christian Cinema. A lot of big Christian films coming out this year and I'll be reviewing them. So hit that subscribe button if that's something that you're interested in. Plus, I'll always be bringing you the latest and greatest news surrounding faith and film. I'm Kevin. Have a great week.